you struggle with anxiety and you feel like you can't get a full breath of air, you can't get enough air, you really need to watch this video. So if you're struggling with anxiety or you're getting panic attacks, you may notice that your breath is a lot more shallow. You even try to get more oxygen and you can't do it. In fact, you become very even hyper aware of just taking a normal breath and you almost feel like you have to get more oxygen. Now, for a lot of people, this can be absolutely terrifying because it feels like, well, what happens if I stop breathing? What happens if I can't breathe? What if I'm not getting enough oxygen? I feel like I'm not getting enough oxygen. And this in itself can create a lot of anxiety. You can feel like there's maybe something wrong with your lungs or there's just a general breathing problem. Problem. Now, what I find is a lot of people that experience panic attacks especially really experience this. Now, what happens a lot of times is these individuals, they'll go to their doctors and the doctor will be like, no, you're getting more than enough oxygen. They may even have a pulse ox on their finger all the time trying to make sure or on their watch trying to make sure they're getting enough oxygen. Now, what's happening is actually anxiety is actually creating breathing issues. Now, most people think it's the breathing issues that's causing the anxiety, but it's actually the opposite. Now, why is anxiety creating these symptoms? Well, you have to understand anxiety is not just mental. In fact, anxiety can create very somatic symptoms. Somatic meaning bodily symptoms. It can create a lot of body symptoms, including palpitations, trouble breathing. And so what happens is when you're experiencing trouble breathing, what you're really experiencing is your body's trying to get extra oxygen. So why is it trying to get extra oxygen? Well, when you're experiencing anxiety, that's typically a survival response. What it's called is the fight or flight response, yeah? Now this is an innate mechanism that everybody has and it's designed to protect us, especially from predators because it's the predators that would get to us initially, right? And so what we had to do is we had to gear up for them. And so one of the ways we do that is we get extra oxygen. Now, why would we get extra oxygen? Well, it says it in the word, fight or flight. You wanna either run away from something or you wanna fight it. Either case, you need a lot of oxygen. So what it does as a response is it tries to get a lot of oxygen. And so what happens is you'll notice your breath gets shallow. And what it's doing is that it's trying to get a lot of oxygen quickly because it feels like you're gonna need it because you're about to do something that's gonna require a lot of endurance. Now here's the problem. There is no tiger, there is no lion. The only thing is that you're experiencing this response when there is no tiger. And so what happens is, is that the feeling in itself becomes the problem. So the solution really is, if you focus on the anxiety, if you focus on fixing the anxiety, well then what happens is this ends up going away. Now there's multiple steps on how to fix the anxiety and really overcome this problem once and for all. So if you wanna know more, check the comment section.